Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Yasha, if you're new here, and I thought today I would answer the question of was radiology more competitive this year than in prior years? I think there are a few indicators from the NRMP data that yes, radiology was more competitive this year than in prior years, and I think in this video I'll break that down for you. The first thing that I looked at when I was kind of critically evaluating whether radiology was more competitive was looking at how many positions were filled by MD versus DO seniors. The more spots that are filled by MD students, usually that indicates that a specialty is more competitive. And this year, more positions in radiology were filled by MD seniors and less positions were filled by DO seniors than in previous years. And I have the numbers right here. So as you can see, there is kind of this trend, this jump between the percentage that went this year versus last year and same for DO, it went down. And I think this is a real indicator that radiology was more competitive this year than in previous years. One thing that also really stuck out to me that showed that radiology was more competitive was how many more people ranked radiology first. And if you look at last year, it was actually 285 people that ranked radiology first, whereas this year it was 409. I think to me that's a huge jump in the total number of people that ranked radiology first. As we know, radiology is commonly a backup specialty, whether that's for IR and DR, or you know something else completely, orthopedic surgery, ENT, whatever it is. Um, this year there were more people that ranked radiology first, which to me shows that diagnostic radiology did become more competitive because it became more people's first choice rather than remaining someone's backup specialty. The next thing that I looked at that made me think that radiology was more competitive was looking at the number of positions in the SOAP, or unmatched positions essentially. This year there were 997 positions offered um, for diagnostic radiology PGY2 positions. And out of all of those, only one of them was in the SOAP. There was only one position open. Whereas last year, there were five programs that were open with a total of eight total positions. So that, again, indicates to me that there were less unmatched positions, which shows that more people were interested in doing radiology because more people matched. So to me, that shows that radiology was more competitive this year than last year. The last thing that I think really showed that radiology was more competitive this year than in prior years is the number of applicants that each program had to rank to completely fill. Now usually that number, I mean last year it was around 8 for PGY1 positions and it was 6.5 for PGY2 positions, so they have to rank 6.5 people on average to fill their residency, and that number went down. So they had to rank less people to completely fill their programs. So for PGY1 positions, that number went from 8.1 to 6. That's a big jump, 8.1 to 6, only 6 per position. And then for PGY2, which is the majority of the radiology spots, that number went from 6.5 to 5.4. So on average, they had to rank one less person per position to fill. And I think that's a big jump when you think about it. So all of these things, the SOAP, the number of USMDs, the number of positions to rank, I mean, all of these things show that radiology was more competitive this year than in prior years. The number of people that wanted to do radiology first, I think that also is a good indicator that radiology was more competitive this year. And um, if you are applying next year, or I guess this year, later this year, then make sure that you apply smart, apply broadly, because I don't know how these trends are going to continue to evolve, especially with the virtual cycle again. So just best of luck to you if you are applying, and if you are reapplying, then good luck. Make sure you make your application really strong because I have a feeling that this is just going to continue. I'm really happy that people are not letting the AI fear get in the way of applying to radiology. Radiology is just going to continue to be more and more utilized. So I definitely think that you should apply to radiology if you're interested, but apply smart because things are getting more competitive. So anyways, um, thank you for watching. Hopefully this was helpful and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.